Hey, what's up? This is Chosen, and we are here. We have made it. It is going to be the day that there is finally some access to Diablo 4, and the talking head videos are going to come to a close, and we can really deep dive on covering the stuff in-game. So on launch day, I wanted to get my video out here on the channel talking about some mistakes you want to avoid making. I've played through the whole campaign. I have experienced most of the whole game. So I want to talk about some things to kind of keep in perspective as you're diving into playing Diablo 4 today. I've talked with a lot of different people, a lot of different creators, and I want to make sure that you are armed with the knowledge to avoid some of the basic mistakes while you are embarking on the leveling process. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so number one, make sure you are grabbing all of the waypoints you can along your journey. This happens a lot where someone forgets to click on a waypoint. You have to specific, you can't just like walk close to it. You have to specifically click on it. And if you don't, you're going to end up needing to go back to that area. And it's going to be a long walk for you if you don't do that. So do not skip any waypoints or altars that you see along the way. And also about the altars. It's good to scoop them up and keep your eyes peeled when you are traversing the map. But unfortunately, they don't really show on the mini map or do anything like super special to ping you that you're close to one. So you kind of have to just pay attention and keep your eyes peeled. So maybe just go ahead and blast and just clear the campaign and then use like one of the maps online like you're seeing right there to go through after the fact and scoop up all of your altars. But you definitely do not want to like skip or ignore the renown system and doing the things like the altars because it is a good power boost for your class so definitely do it at some point but maybe consider holding off until after the campaign and then coming back to get them all using a map and just to refresh your memory quick this is the renown system and kind of an example of it but you get potion capacity you get skill points you get max obol so you're not capped out as much and you also get paragon points along with xp and gold so these are definitely things that are going to help you both short term and long term so you don't want to neglect it too long also make sure you are clearing your aspect dungeons as you come across them you can also open up your codex it's y on pc to access opening your imprint codex for your class and you can actually click on them to pin them on the map if you want to find a certain one now you're not going to have a whole lot of the map unlocked early in the game but you do want to go through and clear these when you come across them especially if they are on your class because it can get you powerful upgrades to unlock some more capabilities for you while you're leveling especially ones that are build enabling so you want to I, like, I can't cover every class in this video but you want to go through your codex for whatever class you're playing and see some of those ones that are available early in the game for you to access a dungeon where you can get a certain codex that might help you along the way you also want to be careful about investing too much in leveling gear if you have an imprint that you dropped, you want to be careful about imprinting a weapon that you're going to replace in four levels. You may want to hold off and save that imprint until you have a more like level 40, level 50 type of weapon that'll help you push into your capstone dungeon and push into world tier three. So don't be spending a bunch of resources at level 21 to imprint a bunch of stuff and upgrade a bunch of stuff. You want to be careful and hold off a little bit so you don't end up investing too much in gear that's going to be readily replaced. Depending on your class, you're going to get a class specific quest that you definitely want to make sure and prioritize and clear it as soon as you can. You're going to get like the book of the dead for the necro. Or you're going to get the enhancements for the sorcerer. You can see right here is an example of the one that I'm going to be playing through as a sorcerer. I believe I'm going to be doing that later today on launch playing the sorcerer as my first main that I embark on the game. And I'm going to definitely do this quest as soon as I can and also utilize the benefit of doing that quest so it's something you definitely want to watch out for and not ignore and while you are leveling up you're going to want to get your mount asap because it will help you traverse the map you're chasing those codexes in the dungeons you're going from quest to quest you're going to get this towards the end of act three beginning of act four that area of the game maybe when you're around level 25 or so you'll see a quest for mount donan's favor and that is going to get you your mount that you can then use to traverse the map a lot more effectively so definitely do that one as well as soon as you have access to it 
I did a video recently here on the channel. I believe it's my last video doing a deep dive discussion on some of the settings you want to take note of. But here in this video, the most important thing to tell you about is the advanced tooltip information. This is something I think all of you are going to definitely want to go into the menus and make sure that you check that box and it's not on by default. It probably should be, but this is going to help you understand the role ranges on items. It will give you a lot more information about your loot and about comparing items against one another. So that is the most important thing I definitely want to touch base on is go through the menus and enable this advanced tooltip information. And do not get so wrapped up that you ignore the alchemist there is a couple different things you definitely want to take note of here you want to keep your potion upgraded your healing potion and you're going to be able to do this when you're traversing the map you're going to collect different materials that will help you upgrade this i think the first one is at level 10 and you want to do these upgrades when you can because the more you're able to heal the more consistently you can stay in the battle and progress faster and then also you definitely want to make sure you are using elixirs because they are going to give you bonuses also bonus xp so don't be one of those people that neglects potions completely because it will it will slow down your progress and they last for like 30 minutes so you want to keep them in your consumables tab and keep them rolling especially while you're playing and you're going to be actually leveling up for 30 minutes to an hour and clearing content you want to keep those elixirs consumed and you're going to get plenty of resources while you're going around the map you can see i can craft a bunch of them 10 10 13 10 12 and they all last for 30 minutes so you'll be just fine spend the resources to keep elixirs drank so that you're getting a little bit of extra xp and bonuses and you may want to be careful about hardcore mode now the game does have some cheat death mechanics in it but while we're learning the game and this is kind of like a pre-season this isn't season one or anything uh definitely play hardcore if your heart is in it i've been a hardcore player my whole life so i get it uh, so if your heart is in it play hardcore but i do want to let you know to be careful playing hardcore because if you're dying a bunch every time you get to level 20 and then you die and you restart and then you get to level 24 and you die and you restart it could demoralize you a little bit while you're learning the game and while you're learning how all of the mechanics work so i would say maybe play one softcore character do the campaign learn the mechanics and it may even though you think it's costing you time because you're like i want to play hardcore why am i wasting time on softcore it may actually save you time it may save you like five or six deaths where you would have lost 80 something hours by losing a bunch of hardcore characters where you have to kind of reset and start over so i would recommend at least you know take a look at it again and think to yourself do i really want to embark on this journey learning the game playing hardcore and hey i might be right there with you on season one i might be switching from softcore to hardcore because i definitely played hardcore on diablo 3 for my whole diablo 3 career and then lastly, I would say maybe be careful about the world tier that you're playing on. I think there's going to be a lot of people out there that force themselves into world tier two and they end up kind of slowing down their progress overall. I honestly think that the optimal decision is going to be play on world tier one, blast through the campaign, get the capstone dungeon done ASAP and play on world tier one until you can go straight to world tier three that might be like the optimal way to do it but also if you want to play on world tier 2 to challenge yourself and be a little bit higher level when you finish the campaign to not have to grind as much after the campaign well too it just depends on you and your experience within the diablo universe and the build you have and how strong you're like how fast you are killing things it can change a little bit but all in all i would say the like most general recommended strategy would be to do world tier one until you finish the campaign grind up until you're strong enough to finish your capstone dungeon and then go straight from world tier one to world tier three so there we have it it is going to be a long day and a long week of grinding and i'm excited to dive into games so hopefully this discussion helped you on some stuff to keep in mind and some things to maybe avoid while you're embarking on learning at Diablo 4 as it is going to be rolling out and launching for all of us to finally play and the wait to be over where we can actually experience the live game and I'm super excited. So remember to subscribe on your way out if you enjoy daily Diablo 4 content and I will see you soon in the next video. Good luck out there. Peace.